In politics, timing is everything. So it came as no surprise to Jersey City Mayor Steve Fulop that speculation was circulating about his trip to Atlantic City today, just a day after Governor Christie took jabs at the gubernatorial hopeful on his home turf. As I think our staff has often said that he has this kind of strange obsession with Jersey City and myself dating back to Bridgegate. Um, and so none of that is new. Uh, I regret not being here earlier and talking to some of those residents. Fulop came to talk casinos, specifically what value they could bring to North Jersey and at what detriment to the South. You tweeted this morning that it may change your mind on your position, did it? You no, know, so it was impactful um, and I got to do some more uh, of these sort of conversations in uh, different environments, but uh, you know, what I found is, um, you know, I try to balance what's in Jersey City's best interest, what's in North Jersey's best interest. Um, I'm obviously conscious of uh, the impact to Atlantic City. Fulop has been a longtime supporter of building casinos in the North. The state legislature approved a constitutional amendment last month, allowing voters to decide if as many as two casinos should be built elsewhere in the state. I think that Jersey City will have a huge say about the direction of that ballot referendum ultimately. It was very important that he heard firsthand because who better in the state of New Jersey to talk about gaming than Atlantic City. You know, we currently uh, have a monopoly and hopefully that will uh, continue. Council President Marty Small says he orchestrated the gathering after Fulop reached out to initiate. He invited lifelong residents, fellow city council members and workers associated with the casino industry. They broke bread at this local eatery. We didn't talk about the governor's race. We didn't talk about relationships. Um, it was a historical perspective on um, people telling me about um, 18-year-olds back in the day aspiring to work at a casino instead of uh, wanting to go to college. As they met and prepped for a jitney bus tour of the city, news broke of yet another compromise bill put out by Senate President Sweeney, this time giving the city 120 days to meet state demands before a takeover would go into effect. I said I'm not prepared uh, to comment uh, on the bill, but I find it rather ironic, but um, that's a story for another day. What's but no, that, you know, a bill, you know, softening the blow on Atlantic City uh, drops while we're meeting, you know, with uh, Mayor Fuller. Mm -hmm. um, you can connect the dots, if you will. If we decide, and we have some more meetings to do um, in Jersey City, um, that this is not in Jersey City's best interest, we're not going to leave anything up to chance, we're going to kill it, and uh, we're going to kill it aggressively. In Atlantic City, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.